Hello, it is around 3.30, December 11th, 2019. We're just going to go over the weather, the uh, snowfall uh, reports on this weather update and maybe a little look at, uh, at uh, tomorrow's weather. Uh, so right now, uh, you see there it was 37 in Central Park. So uh, it's in the 30s, it's cold out there. And certain areas of our area got more snow than others, obviously. And uh, Connecticut uh, seems to be the highest amounts right now that we see up in Connecticut. Newton north and east 4.2 uh new haven county we have a four inch report um in new jersey not that much uh maybe an inch of, or less uh, and the city didn't really wind up getting that much maybe uh, an inch in brooklyn 0.7 in midwood uh however on long island there was a variation between the north shore and the south shore so the south shore really didn't see that much but the north shore and the further east you went the more you saw so uh, in Syosset, 3.2 inches, uh, and, but if we go to Merrick, it's only 1.8 inches, and Massapequa 1.3. Uh, the city, Central Park, only got 0.2 inches, so just a trace of snow there. Uh, in Queens, again, we see this variation. South part, only 0.9, uh, at, but the north part, a little neck, 2 inches. Uh, and in Suffolk County, so we see some variations. East End actually got a lot more. East End got hit harder uh, because the storm kind of strengthened as it moved away. So Quag 3.4 inches, Sag Harbor 3.2 inches, Comac 3.1 inches, Nesconset 3 inches, uh, and if we go and we look at Upton 2.1 inches, uh, and then on the low end of it you have Babylon uh, or West Babylon 1.2 inches. Uh, so I can tell you it's not a lot of snow. Uh, I mean, a little more on the east end than I thought, but uh, for Nassau, at least this area here, we really didn't get all that much. Uh, it didn't really stick to the roads at all, just to the grassy areas, the roofs, uh, pretty much what I thought uh, would happen uh, as far as the snow goes. Uh, so again, some areas got more uh, than others uh, because of that strengthening that happened uh, toward the end of the storm. If we uh, go to Ventus Sky, I'll show you what I mean. So if we... Look at the radar, and we rewind the radar down a little bit. Let's rewind that radar here. I don't think this shows precip type. I don't know if it does. Let's see if it does. I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, but if we rewind it, you'll see here uh, that there was some heavier banding that occurred over the eastern part of Suffolk County. So we go look. Yeah, right here. This band right here. So this band here uh, was able to uh, drop a couple more inches. Uh, over Suffolk County uh, than was previously, at least I expected. But the weather service forecast was pretty much right, you know, the one to three inches. Obviously not, not a big snowstorm. Didn't didn't really even stick to the roads at all. Uh, so uh, just going to briefly look over tomorrow's weather because, unfortunately, it does not look like we're going to be seeing clear skies tomorrow, at least not for the most, maybe in the morning and then it clouds up quickly. So if we look at the GFS, you'll see here, uh, because this high just races offshore, we start off clear and then boom, the the, the high and mid-level clouds just roll right in on us. Uh, if we look at the NAM, so the 18Z NAM, we only have uh, we have out to now enough, so we'll be able to see. Same issue here, so we start off maybe clear in the morning, and then these cirrus clouds just start rolling in on us, unfortunately, right away. Uh, so this is because if we uh, look at the if we look at the no, that's not the one. If we look at this, you will see here the high just kind of just races offshore. So you see that high just race offshore like that. There's nothing to block it in place. So that's the issue. Uh, the other thing we'll look at, of course, is the temperatures because the temperatures will be on the dropping the night. So we'll look at that. So uh, tonight we're going to have temperatures go below freezing. So whatever is melted, or there might be a little ice out there. You know, some slick spots on the roads and sidewalks. Uh, and then for tomorrow, uh, we it's it's going to be cold tomorrow. Highs probably in the mid-30s. Uh, but again, that cold air doesn't last. And then here comes the warmth again with that uh, soaker that we're going to be getting on uh, Saturday. So uh, that'll be it for this weather update. Uh, I'll have another one for you on Friday. Take care.